think he's uh, on the whole. You ought attack, to. Man. You ought to, I know, because then you would have more. One would, I certainly write about him with more um, uh, feeling and more kindness, probably. And, oh, I think you did in Casino Royale. Do you? Yes. Well, I, yes, he had some emotions at the end when the girl uh, died, but that... Uh, uh, well, that's all right. Uh, anyway, a man on his job can't afford tender emotions. Well, that's what I feel. He feels them, but he has to quell them. Yes. On the other hand, Philip Marlowe feels them and and, and speaks about them. He uh, he's about always it. confused. He is, isn't he? <laughs> he's like me. But, uh, for instance, I mean, I managed to get hold of an advanced copy of your last book, the one that's uh, just coming out of playback. And, um... I was very interested by this uh, passage, um, talking about uh, violence and, I mean, uh, toughness and so on and so forth. This seemed to me very well put. He's, uh, he's gone into this girl's bedroom having overheard her conversation with a blackmailer. She brought out a small automatic up from her side. I looked at it. Oh, guns, I said. Don't scare me with guns. I've lived with them all my life. I teased on an old Dellinger single shot, the kind the riverboat gamblers used to carry. As I got older, I graduated to a lightweight sporting rifle, then a 303 target rifle, and so on. I once made a bull at 900 yards with open sights. In case you don't know, the whole target looks the size of a postage stamp at 900 yards. A fascinating career, she said. Guns never settle anything, I said. They're just a fast curtain to a bad second act. <laughs> I think that's well put. But you see, I, uh, I mean, that is a far more sort of sensible point of view than the one which I put forward in my books, where people are shooting each other so much and so often that you often need a program to tell which, who's in the act and who's the spectator. Why do you always have to have a torture scene? Well, do I always? Yes, let me think now. Yes, well, I'll do. Tell you, uh, well, maybe you're right. Every one that I've read. Really? Well, you see, I suppose I was brought up on Dr. Fu Manchu and, uh, and uh, thrillers of that kind. And somehow always, uh, even Bulldog Drummond and so on, the hero in the end gets in the grips of the villain. And he suffers. Either he's slogged or something happens to him. He's, he's, well, next he's time, try pain. brainwashing. That's <laughs> probably worse than torture. I think it is, yes. I don't like that. That's too serious. <laughs> no, I agree. It is a, I think it's a weakness. On the other hand, you see, I think this uh, so-called hero of mine, he uh, has a good time. He beats the villain and he, in the end and he gets the girl and he serves his government well. Well, in the process of that, he's got to suffer something in return for all this success. And, I mean, uh, do what you do, dock him something on his income tax? I'm, I mean, I'm really tired of the fact that the, 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 the hero in these in uh, other people's thrillers gets a bang on the head with a revolver butt, and uh, he's perfectly happy after it's just a bump on his head. Well, yeah. I think my chap ought to... Oh, that's it. one of oh. my faults. They recover too quickly. Well, I know. Because well, I know what it is to be banged on the head with a revolver butt. The first thing you do is vomit. It is, uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there you are. See, that's already getting... Uh, violent and unattractive and so on. Yes. The truth is uh, like that, you see. <laughs> and while uh, I think it's certainly a criticism of my books that uh, comes in too often, I think my uh, so-called hero has got to suffer before he gets his prizes at the end yes, of the book. Yes, he's got to suffer a little, that's true. Yeah. But... Not too much. Mm. Well, uh, I... <coughs> He doesn't get hurt in the next book, which I've just written. Much. Have you? Yeah. What's it called? It's called Goldfinger. Which? Goldfinger. How can you write so many books with all the other things you do? Well, I sit down and I have two months off in Jamaica every year. That's in my contract with the Sunday Times. And I sit down and I write a book every year during those two months. And I bring it back. I can't write a book in two months. Well, but then you write better books than I do. Well, well, maybe or maybe not, but I still can't write a book in two months. The fastest book I ever wrote, I wrote in three months. Yes. 
Well, Stephen all right to him in about uh, a week or ten days. Mm-hmm. And so could old son of God. Yes. In fact, uh, old Edgar Wallace. Yeah. The mother's story about Edgar Wallace going to Hollywood. And they asked him if he would write an original story for a screenplay. And they expect him to take about six weeks. This yeah. one on Friday. He was back on Monday for the finished. Well, I tell you, they paid him for the whole six weeks. Uh, well, I companies. think it's a flat sum. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Mm-hmm. But uh, your man, uh, your hero, Philip Marlowe, is he based on, more or less, on yourself, so to speak? I mean, do I see a certain... In fact, I see a distinct relationship between uh, you and Philip Marlowe. Oh, not deliberately. No, but... If so, it just happened. One likes what one knows, of course. Well, my chap, uh, I suppose he's got some foibles that I've got, but um, I wouldn't have said he had any relation to the person I think uh, I am, but there it is. Can you play Baccarat as well as he can? Not as well, no. <laughs> I'd like to be able to. I love it. I love gambling. Oh. I don't enjoy gambling at all. It's the only vice I don't possess. Oh, come, come. There are plenty left, aren't there? Well, it is the only vice I don't possess. I have no interest in gambling. No. Would you say that there are any sort of um, basic differences between the English and the American thriller? Oh, yes. Except for a few exceptions, like... uh, Well, I shouldn't say except for a few exceptions... It's a bad tautology, isn't it? Like oh. yourself. Mm-hmm. And there are a few. The American thriller is much faster paced. Yeah. We've got into a rather sort of tea and muffin school of writing here, I think. Mm. Uh, you know, people, the policemen are much too nice and uh, are always drinking cups of tea and uh, inspectors puff away at pipes. And uh, the whole thing goes on in a rather sort of quiet atmosphere from a little village somewhere in England. Uh-huh. But of course, you've got the private eye tradition, which um, we haven't got so much over here because uh, our detectives, are, uh, the private detectives, are on the house of ordinary little people who go and 